Hello, my name is Hector. Welcome back to FTB Horizons 3. We are back here. How is everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. It is snowing where I am, or at least it snowed last night, uh, and it's uh, yeah, it's quite quite a sight to behold. Um, last couple of episodes, we kind of we've been looking around at um, the calculator mod, which is like pretty interesting. And last episode, we we got this. We got this badger, which doesn't look like a lot, does it? It doesn't look a lot, but... Um, oh, wow. Look at that. Um, if we put that in there... Well, all the hunger points I now have. Look at that. 442 hunger points in there. So every time, basically, I need food, um, it takes some hunger points out of there. And it's amazing. It's amazing. So we can actually... Can I? There we go. We can actually. Uh, we don't. We don't need. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. So today, I thought it would be nice to have a look at a new mob, I and mean, I thought we'd have a look at this uh, evil craft. Evil craft is something that I've never, I've never really looked at or played around with, and I thought it'd be nice to do. Let's get some. A uh, little bit more. A little bit more. Because it's very nice. There we go. Um. So, one of the first things we kind of need is we need some dark gems. I know that much. And I believe we need a blood extractor. So, some glass, essentially, and some spikes. You get spikes with a gem and some iron ingot. Okay. Let's let's start this process then. Um, I needed some glass. There we go. So, uh, one of these with that. That's, that's spiky stuff. And then that we should now just be able to make. There we go. A blood extractor. The second age in advancements. Well, thank you very much. Now, shift for inventory. Hold in inventory when slaying mobs. Shift right click to extract or auto supply. So, does that, is that that? Auto supply uh, done. Okay. So I'm guessing basically we have to go kill some mobs and it will then let's let's I'm sorry Mr. Pig. What's that done? Twen two hundred and twenty five. So it's not like it's not like a huge amount. And it's not like blood magic that basically you get kind of you get your own kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the Nether, uh, and we're just going to fly around and uh, and kill stuff essentially, uh, and be. A, can I can I get in? I'm like too fast. So uh, I will see you over there. So this isn't too bad because I've got the uh, the really awesome sword that essentially can one shot pigmen, um, which essentially means that it, this isn't really that hard to do, uh, and it's kind of filling up pretty pretty fast if I may say so myself what is this blue topaz ore okay um so this shouldn't really take me that long to do I, w I was thinking maybe it would kind of take me a little bit longer but uh no this is almost done so I will see you back at base yeah and is that done it's done so now we have our blood you might be thinking well what can we do with it well you basically need blood to power most things with evil craft. And one of the things I wanted to look at is this blood pearl of teleportation. Um, I thought it might be interesting. So we need dark power gems. And the way you get that is essentially you need to, yeah, dark gems, you, you basically need to add blood. And you need a blood infuser. Uh, and a blood infuser you make with cobble and a blood infusion core. And a blood infusion core you make with a dark power gem and hardened blood shards, which you basically need hardened blood. So, I think, I believe, I believe that we should, if we, if we go, let's go over here. And if we kind of do a bit of this, I believe we can, um, we can essentially put some blood in here. Yeah, look at that. Uh, and I don't know if that works then. Does that work? Is that a thing that that happens no we just got that back but we did get hardened blood which is good or is it I don't know can we <laughs> I don't understand how this works um do we need more blood okay so there's a hard there is hardened blood there but I don't know how to pick it up 
It says it says pickaxe, but it seems to immediately go. Can we get this back? Okay, so we've got some blood back. Uh, it's almost night, but that's fine. How do we how do we pick this up? Uh, where's the hardened blood? Waxed. Hardened blood. Shift for info. Liquefies with rain or by breaking it. Right. But you... you <sighs> so how do you... How do you pick it up? Hey, why... Oh, did I not... Did I not pick my, um, my thing up again? Oh, I've just... I know what I've done. I know what I've done. I just made a, a chest to put stuff in it. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I'm okay again. I'm okay again. Um... Uh, let me try and figure this out, how this might work. So apparently, flint and steel, there we go, uh, and we get some blood shards like that. So you kind of have to harden it a little bit. So we get 12 there like that. Now, I believe if I do that, 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 can I not? Oh, I've got no more. Oh, man, I'm already out of blood. <laughs> can we just go quickly kill some stuff? No, there's, there's nothing around. Okay, so... Apparently, if, uh, let's just, shall we fill that up again? There we go. Um, apparently, if we, um, if we put five blocks of source blood, then, and chuck a dark gem in, that's what it says in here, um, we should be able to essentially make a dark power gem. Um, apparently, this, this next chapter says how to make them more, like cheaper and I presume it's yeah with that so we just need one dark power gem so I'm gonna go kill some more stuff try and get five source blocks of blood but you clearly have to you can you kind of have to do it before it hardens I presume so uh, let's go do that and uh, I'll be right back right we've got another full extractor so two three four five uh, quick aha there we go we have one and that took basically in the entire thing so each thousand is basically like a bucket isn't it okay so that should allow us to do uh, other stuff now right so i believe we should be able to make one of those there we go excellent and we need cobble i don't actually have that many dark gems um i might need to be careful about that right blood infuser there we go so one of these bad boys will essentially so we can fill it with blood. We can fill it with blood. Uh, and the way you do that is if we just get some more blood. The pig here. There we go. Did, we, did that get something? <laughs> 74 blood. Um, and you can fill it up essentially by... Where is it? Just doing that. And then there you go. So that's how you fill it. You can also make tanks. Uh, I think we already made one in fact, didn't we? Oh, that was a cyclic one, but um, Evil Craft has its own kind of tank system, so we can easily do that as well. But now, 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 one of the things I want to try is this. So I need more dark gems. So basically, you just we need more blood. I don't know if there's a better way to get blood. I feel like there should be. Um, so I'm gonna have to have a look around and see what the best way of getting more blood is. So I'm, I've been looking up at how to make. Uh, essentially a blood farm and I've come up with a method so there's a few things that I need uh, I need dark tank so more of that I don't know if we're gonna have enough um, dark gems but let's 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 find out um, I don't have iron of course I don't of course I don't bam so dark tank bam uh, we need spikes uh, that we can do, yep, boom, spike plate, uh, and that basically damages mobs, place on pedestal to drain blood, uh, and so this is a pedestal, so we need a full one of that, ah, oh, am I, oh, I'm like four away, four away, and now, does this get any, I don't think it does, oil, doesn't look like it, uh, do I have any more of anything? So it seems that 
this mod pack basically um what's it uh environmental tech doesn't kind of get anything special which is annoying like it's so annoying so i'm gonna have to go mining um for dark gems essentially so that i have a little bit just a little bit a little bit of something so let me go do that quick boom okay we have that as well now let's just put some of this stuff back it's got did a bit of mining you know uh picked up some random stuff as well obviously always do also got some a crushed dark gem which i know you can use in like in later in later bits um oh that's actually quite annoying that you're just uh let, shall we just put this on yeah okay cool um can i get in here without essentially doing too much damage out right let's just kill you so i do believe that if we wow if we put a dark plate there essentially with a one of these below it or actually i think what we can do is put a tank there so let's put that there like that and then that can i not i was under the impression that we're good um is it because there's water involved here let's just block you off for a second can we not ah really <sighs> ow so we can put we can put that just there like that and that does so that does that kind of damage you know um okay well oh did that did that go in there oh dang it <laughs> oh it did it did it did it's okay it's okay there we go um so apparently we can't we can't do that did that just break completely as well or did i did that save it no it didn't okay so apparently we do have to put that there like that and then the spikes on it yes okay so that essentially that should still work and it should provide that thing there with blood um so we'll just have to turn this on again and kind of do that stuff and ow 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 <laughs> and then it should kind of do its thing uh, of course i've got no no cobble there we go let's just uh let's just do this up can i can i can i so i believe yeah if I put that there like that and we turn everything on again this should work exactly the same and i'm hoping it well i'm hoping it does i can yeah ooh, i can see i can see things dying there so that's a good sign let's just do that this is a lot easier now i have flight so we should have oh i don't know what i broke then oh that's an that's an interesting noise can i do that <gasps> yes look at that so this is this this totally works then um and can i can i put like that can I get stuff out of there? Oh, that changes stuff. And I don't know what that means. But did you see that? It it changes the color of the tank. And I don't know what each one of those means. That's interesting. Dark tank. So it doesn't seem to say. I don't know what the difference is. Is that filling up still? How did I? No, come on. Eleven point two. So is this still going? Let's just see. Have a gander. Yes, yes. So that is filling up essentially. Okay, so that is excellent. And I presume, I presume, if I empty this bucket, I can get stuff out of here. 
Yes, so I've got to shift click though um, in order to do that. So that's a way of getting stuff essentially. So that's okay, it's cool. So we have a blood farm. So now let's see what we can do with that. So first thing we're gonna try is I'm gonna try in this this uh, blood orb of transportation or whatever it's called. Um, this is a it's a this is a really annoying sound, and I can't get rid of it with this. I can't find the sound effect, um, which is like irritating. I don't know what it's called. There's a lot of you know th there is some evil craft stuff, but um, it's it's not listed in that. So. Like I don't, I don't know. It's it's really irritating. Um, if we look, evil craft. So this is all box beam, vengeance beam, vengeance beam, mob vengeance, spirit death, which is not that. I mean, I could add that and see, but yeah. I so I. Oh, it's so. Oh, it's so it's so irritating. That's such a an annoying thing to have. Okay, so we have that. Uh, let's get some. I think it's five. So we should be able to make this now. Blood Pearl of Teleportation. Uh, so let's put it in here to get some blood going. And what does this do? What does this do? Oh, oh. It's a, it's essentially just that. It's essentially just another Ender Pearl thing, which we <laughs> which we already have in the form of, of the cyclic one, which seems to be a lot better actually because obviously it doesn't do that that's fine well that's not never mind that's one thing that we uh, we won't be doing is this going yeah there we go um the other thing i i definitely want it to look at is this thing a lightning grenade which is cool but we need like the environmental accumulator which is that random thing that we found but also also i wanted to have a, a look at this vengeance pickaxe so it might summon Vengeance Spirit, which is fine, but Vengeance 3, yeah, but Fortune 5, that's that's insane. Okay, so what we need, however, Dark Stick, uh, and we need to get that from the log, and we get that essentially, well, you can do it like that, but apparently, apparently, if we take one of these and then get some shears, have I got shears? Have I got shears anywhere? I know I can make some, but I don't want to just make another pair. There we go. Um, so if we put some shears in here like that, like that, we should, yep, we should get a dead bush. And if we put this in here like that, we should get an undead sapling. If I am correct. Undead sapling, yes. Shift room for grows an undead tree. So... Let's go over here. I don't, I kind of think that this will not um, work with bone meal, but maybe it will. Maybe it will. Let's let's have a go. Um, bone meal. <gasps> oh, it did. It did. It totally did. Um, I've got my axe. Yes, there you go. Um, so I don't know. That's undead leaves. There's no kind of thing for that. Okay. Well, let's just uh, let's just start harvesting it. Now we've got now we've got the blood farm going. This is essentially not hard to get blood. I kind of thought it was going to be a lot harder, in fact, to get blood. Um, is that is that all I get? I got I got some sticks and I got some more dead bushes. So it seems like we might have to keep kind of, uh, we might have to keep making undead saplings, but that's fine. That is not the worst thing. So, oh, I need, I need more dark gems. I need more dark gems. Right then, I should, I should essentially now have enough to do this. Um, bam, uh, bam, yes, dark rods, and. Vengeance pickaxe. So let us see. Let's see how how uh, crazy this is. What I've got? I've got thirty diamond ore. Thirty diamond ore. Let's basically build this up like this, and then we'll kind of see. And 
<laughs> we'll see how uh, how crazy the vengeance spirits are as well. So far, it doesn't look like we've set any off. I don't know. So, it's not too bad. I mean... Oh. There's one. Can they fly? So, we only got one vengeance spirit there. And you're kind of just hanging out there. And I think they give about two hearts of damage. And then they kind of dissipate after a bit. Or do they? Oh no, they're still there. I kind of want to see. I don't think we can actually... Yeah, we can't harm it or anything. It keeps kind of phasing out and then coming back. I don't know what happens if we just kind of leave it. Will it follow? Yeah, that is following. That is following us. Oh, and is it gone? And it's gone. So, not not bad. And, oh, wow, we got a stack and a half. A stack and a half of 30 diamonds. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. So, I think we're going to have a look more into this the next episode. We might get into the weather accumulator and stuff. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. If you did, a like or comment is always very much appreciated, of course. Um, I'm quite liking Evil Crash so far. Now we've got the blood kind of thing sorted out. I do need to find a good way of getting dark gems because that is... That's the only downside in this mod pack so far with it. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I've been Hector. This has been Horizons 3. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.